Hello everyone, Cap here and welcome back to some more Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. Let us go for some biome goals. I kind of want to make this a series over the next couple of days or maybe even weeks. A lot of you guys, I keep getting comments in a live stream or under my videos with people asking about how to complete some of these goals. And yeah, I would just like to go over maybe some of the harder ones in both Hazard 5 but also some in Hazard 4. So for example, I also got asked about this one, I believe, incendiary grenade to level 25, hazard 4 on the magma core, and so on. There are quite a few that are potentially difficult, so I would like to go over some of these. Um, in this video, let's just get started with this one, hazard 5, level 60, strong arm driller. Let's go. Hazard 5, nothing can go wrong. There's a time for finesse. This is it. This Either it. the dreadnought goes or we send in another dwarf. You'll be on your own in there. Make it count. So, I kind of want to make these videos partially a guide. Help you guys um, with this, with the goals here. How to complete them easily. Also give my, my insight on what I think is potentially good. But also, I will try to make these runs entertaining. Go for good strong builds. Um, so, here we are already starting by the way. I kind of want to ignore the axe more or less. The axe is not really a carry weapon. Um, getting it to 6 is okay-ish, but even that might be too much. <laughs> um, I'm going for this here. I already ignored two levels on the X. I really don't like that one. It can deal some damage and all, but it's so inconsistent. It throws quite slowly, even with reload speed, and then it doesn't clean up everything consistently, and then you get kind of swarmed from all directions. So yeah, first tip for this one is to kind of ignore the X a little bit. It's not impossible to do it with the axe, but definitely not the easiest. And yeah, this one is the easiest and I will go for this. Tactical lead burster is extremely strong when you level it and overclock it. I did co get comments before why I say the lead burster is strong because someone's opinion on this weapon did kind of differ or mine. Uh, I think the difference is probably for one, Lead Burster might be better on Hazard 5 because there are more enemies and it can hit more enemies so the damage overall is better. And also Lead Burster only really com comes online with the overclocks. It really needs the piercing overclock for one. Then triple split is very good as well and yeah final overclock also helps with damage of course. And here we go. Let's start leveling this one. And crits are also very good for the lead burster for all those shots. So let's get that. Uh, we could go full throwables and throwables do have slow reload time overall. So reload is very good on throwables. Let's get this one. And yeah, here I'm ignoring the axe, as I said, go for this. Also, I already did take the drop. I think that's actually kind of important because you really do not want to use the drop to kill the bosses. Uh, since that will cut your time short on this stage and you really do want to farm levels, especially on stage 1. And yeah, you just have so much more time if you keep the bosses alive for a bit. Not too long, eventually it will get too hard, so at some point you kind of need to watch the bosses HP and everything. If they don't die whatsoever, you kind of need to focus on boss damage. And here is piercing shots. That is very good. Now they actually do hit basically everything. And that increases the damage by an insane amount overall. 
Okay, now we kind of just circle around, get as much SP, uh, XP as we can. The bosses are already taking decent amounts of damage. I will reroll here once. I don't like any of these. And that is better. Also crit chance is very good, but kind of gotta focus or prioritize levels on the lead burster. And some armor. Kinetic damage is also very good for the lead burster. But let's go for some armor since it's higher rarity. And yeah, the bosses are already very low. It's, it's, it's with the piercing shots on the lead burster, it's hard to avoid damage on the bosses now. So we will not have a ton of time, but that's okay. Also, Voltaic Stun Sweeper. So we don't need any other weapon. We can just focus on this one and the rest can be support basically. Um, so Voltaic Stun Sweeper is one of the best, if not the best support weapon because it has two insane overclocks that you can get and you will most likely get one of them at level six already. Uh, it does have Magnet and it does have Sidearm. Magnet picks up the XP for you and Sidearm increases the damage of all other weapons by 25%. Okay, bosses will go down soonish. Let's make sure we get all the XP. Also trigger some more Explodey Boys to get all of this. That burster. Okay. Again, avoid the axe. Uh, I take some HP. I could reroll, but we are going into the shop. HP is fine. Um, and we are going into the shop soon, so I don't want to waste too much gold right now. Double level, perfect. And our boss is going down here, let's get all the XP. Let's try to kill a little bit more. Also, I'm rerolling this. I don't take comments really, I don't like comments. I reroll once, I, that's worth. And yeah, this is much better. Let's try and kill all of this and get this XP as well before we head out. Some fire raid. Fire raid is also very good on this. And I do have a lot of reload already and there's the triple split. Let's just run through here, get all this. Okay, I will take this because it's legendary. Also we are high on crit chance, so this actually does a lot. I'm kind of fine. I will get this to 18. I kind of want the magnet next soon. And reload is also very good on the stun sweeper, so it throws faster. Or more often, rather. Okay, can't get the rest of that XP, but that's okay. We are level 22. Which is not terrible. It's not insane because, well, <laughs> piercing on the lead burster is too good. Uh, also, we get this. Uh, this will increase the damage of this by 20%, like actual 20%, because this is a, a new modifier. We don't have kinetic damage yet. And the lead burster will stay kinetic damage. I actually like this. Also, fire rate. This is damage. I don't really want that. Let's reroll. I'd rather have reload. I want to waste Nitra. Well, oh, I picked this because it's less quality. It's a bit cheaper. Fire rate. Okay. If we see some XP up, we should also take that, of course, since we want to get level 60. It does help. Don't want to go too crazy with it. Damage and everything is more important, so you can kill everything and get all the XP from the bugs, of course. Um, but some XP up would be decent, for sure. I actually need to kind of watch out um, <laughs> that I don't kill everything too fast. Really 
could get difficult uh, to reach level 60 in that case. So another choice here that would be easier probably to get to level 60 because you kill slower, because you kill the bosses slower, uh, would be the cryo grenade. You could also go all in on the cryo grenade pretty much. Basically the same way that I'm doing right now with the lead burster. Um, I I need this actually. I'm prioritizing this now, even with bad upgrades. I I need magnet. I really want to make sure I get all the XP. Definitely do not want to miss getting to level sixty. And yeah, picking up more XP obviously <laughs> does help getting there. Some more blooms. Swarm detected. Get ready. He'll be with you shortly. Okay. This one as well, and let's get to the drop. Uh, what's next? I could still get the cryo grenade, just as support. Some freeze is always good, and there it is. Finish the bloom. Let's get the drop before the bosses come. Yeah, everything dies very quickly already. With the lead burster here. Could take this for some extra. But let's go nitro scanner. It's just the better item. I actually don't care about the damage here. Let's go reload. <coughs> Double level on this. And make sure we get all the XP that's somewhere. Alright. Reload is very good. On grenades in general. Fine. <laughs> Actually, man, this is a bit risky. Now we have the final overclock and we deal a lot more damage. And we haven't found any XP up yet. And I do not want these. Let's reroll. Okay, at least we get this one. Okay, stun um, Get the magnet. One of the bosses is down soon. We are basically already done with our build. We have the magnet, that's just nice. We have the Leprester 18 already. This one 6, triple split. Just so there are more grenades, more freeze everywhere. Reload speed. Okay, pass this down. Get all the XP. Some crit. Let's just run through here. Don't have too much time. Want to make sure I get all of this. Some more pickup radius. Yeah, we are quite strong. Let's see if we are able to get to 60. <laughs> Getting the um, lead burster up too quick. Okay, there's some XP gain. Get some movement speed. XP gain. And nothing else, I guess. I could reroll. Nope. And I'd afford these. More we'll fire rate, sure. Okay. You have your objectives. Get it done, miner. Oh, I need to take a dump. 
So in the beginning of each stage, I usually just start running around, collect all the nitrine gold or as much as possible and finish the side quest as soon as possible. Though we do have the mushrooms now, which are usually taking a bit. A lot of this. Reload on this, very good. Get some more armor. Be safe. We are killing everything fast enough. More move speed. You die. Okay, let's get through here. I'll reload on this. Okay, done with the shrooms. Let's get to the drop. Leperser and Cry Grenade are already at a point here where they just delete everything. I could go for more of this, and I usually should and would, but I'm killing everything fast enough. I actually pick health here just to stay alive. I'm trying to scale down a bit on damage, <laughs> or at least not scale up further. Um, yeah, I can't really get this, I guess. Do not want the bosses to die too quickly. Definitely need all the XP I can get to get to level 60. Reload on this. I legit pick stuff that is not helping me kill faster basically. Um, yeah, some mining is actually alright. Also, let's mine some more, why not? One boss down, let's go back here, get all the XP. Uh, this one, uh, yeah, whatever. Doesn't deal all that much damage anyways. And could get, still get sidearm at some point. So we can kill the boss faster or something. Okay, move speed. We gotta run and pick up everything. Move speed does help with that. A okay, boss will die in a second. Yep, it's dead. Double level on this. Get all of this.
Alright. Level 49. Double level on this. Can also get this to 12, why not? Okay. Legendary damage? Nah. Kinetic damage? <laughs> this is. Okay, reload speed is alright. I do not want to increase my damage like this. Explosion radius. Pretty cool though. That's fun. Let's get that. Pick up radius. Okay. I'm not spending the Nitro right now. I can spend it after this stage. I'm too strong. <laughs> That's actually... yeah. That Burster is very strong. If you get it to 18, it just kills everything. With piercing in particular. And that includes the bosses at the end of the stage. A more kite quest, and that is pretty neat. So I don't need to waste my time running around chasing mus uh, mushrooms or something. Okay, finish this here. But actually best to just stand here and farm everything that comes and get all the XP. If I run around XP is kind of all over the place. More XP gain, why not? Fine, some more fire rate. Yeah, I will stay here until the drop gets here, I think. Reload on this. But yeah, just in general, for a throwable build here, I think the core is Lead Burster and or Cryo. So yeah, ideally a combination of the two. But you really only need one. And maybe even now in hindsight, since the lead burst is just destroying everything so quickly, maybe cryo grenade is actually better for this challenge to get to 60. So you don't kill too fast at the end of the stage when the bosses are here. Also, let me focus up a bit. I'm a bit low. Get some kinetic damage now. I think we should be fine now with levels. We will get to 60, I'm pretty sure. Get this. More armor. Let's be safe. Fire rate is also very good for the lead burster. And the other item also very good for more damage, of course. Double level. More range. That is very cool. Magnet with more range. So I really get all the XP. Yeah, now we just circle this area a bit. Reload speed. And get all the XP here. Well, but also move a little bit up. Get some of this. That? <laughs> Why are there so many exploding boys? All of this. Fine, let's get this to 18 for double throw, maybe. That's fun. Throwing in both directions. And then also picking up in both directions, of course.
Yeah, let's focus our levels on this maybe. Just for fun. Okay, we have 58 and a half. Should be 59 in a moment. Get the rest of this. stand here in case you didn't know if you are at the top of this ramp <coughs> you can not get hit by everything and also you can still shoot of course and collect some more xp from safety explosion radius reload speed <coughs> explosion radius is more fun uh reload speed applies to everything though fine uh, let's get this one Let's get also this one. More radius, of course. Biggest explosion possible. And we cannot reroll anymore, so might as well. Whatever. Okay. Just one more level and a bit. Should be fine. But yeah, again. If you want to make this easier, uh, get the cryo grenade as your second weapon. And to ensure that, you should farm gold right away when you start the run. So you have some gold for rerolls at level 5 when you get your first new weapon. And even if that doesn't happen, I mean, that takes like 2 minutes, uh, you can just restart if you really want to try for this. Just restart and uh, next time you might get the trio at level 6 or at level 5 rather. Yeah. Now we can kind of focus on getting stronger if we want to. We definitely are going to reach level 60. Just kill this. Oh, actually, one more. Takes a little bit, but let's get this. All right, this is a corner. I need to remember that for later. Oh, the axe just pushed a bug into me. Pushback from the axe can throw uh, bugs into you, unfortunately. That happens quite regularly, at least to me. Someone else said it never happens to them, but it always happens to me for some reason. <laughs> never lucky, I guess. There is a lot of stuff here. Get all of this. Get the drop done. Okay, nitrogenic powder. We do have a lot of nitra. Could also get this, but I think crits, more crits are probably better. We also have the crit goggles, so are we above 100? Not quite yet, but we can get more nitra and get over 100% crit chance, which allows for double crits. That's a thing in this game. This is very good for damage, but I want this now. And let's go for... Wait... No, we go for double throws, not the explosions. Don't really have damage on this one, I think. So just go double throws to pick up everything. Also, we are level 60. Hey, we did it. So you don't even need to win the run, I'm pretty sure, for the... Milestone. But of course, we will also do that. And there's a magnet to the right. And pick that up in a bit. There are more nitra. Also, we do have the nitra scanner, so can just mine some more walls. And also loot bugs, of course. 
Can we get over 100 percent per chance? And this is a bait here. <laughs> Cannot get through here. Okay, there are two very awkward corners on this map right now. Get some armor. This is also a bit tight. This map layout is very bad. Like, yeah, very difficult compared to other layouts. Where is the boss? Oh, there was a lot of enemies spawning at once. Where's the boss? Oh, it's up there. Just dodge. Uh, do we have no 95 only? Man, also this is the corner that I was talking about earlier. <laughs> Let's not run into that. Yeah, I kind of started neglecting the damage on the lead burster. Boss could die much much faster if he did actually get more damage upgrades, but we did not. Do not kill the bosses on the previous stages too fast to farm more XP. But that's okay, it's still very, very strong. Let's just not die to the explodey boys. Uh, reload speed. Oh man, stupid. Okay, I just got griefed by Cryo. I couldn't get through there in peace because the Cryo did freeze an explodey boy. Or multiple exploit boys actually. And I couldn't trigger them safely because of that. Oh. Okay. You die now. Uh Oh, another bug pushed into me just now. By the axe. And boss is dead. But yeah. This could have been a much faster kill. Uh, with more focus on damage for the... Lead Burster. GG though. Lead Burster and Cryo combo is extremely strong. Lead Burster deals insane damage. Cryo also deals good damage and freezes on top of that. And freeze is kind of good as well, since you yeah, you don't take damage from frozen bugs. And yeah, GG's. And we are level 63, so we did the milestone as well. Alright, let's check the damage real quick. And yep. <laughs> Left first to 27k DPS actually. I'm surprised that the cryo DPS was so low though. It usually is a bit better. Um, but that's okay. Uh, I guess this one is crazy right now because we have so many crits and everything and this really benefits from crits. And yeah, GG. This is how we get level 60 plus strong armed driller on Hazard 5 crystalline caverns. GG. Um, just one more time though. If you want to do this, maybe get the cryo first and the lead burster third. So you focus a little bit more on the cryo earlier, so you don't kill the bosses too quickly in the early stages. And then you can find more XP on stage 1, 2, 3 and so on. And yeah, you will get easier to 60 and don't need to scale down your damage because you kill everything too quickly like I was just now. <laughs> Anyways, GG. Thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.